All right, so I'm down here in Valdez and I am gonna make a video for all you aspiring uh, salmon fishermen from Alaska or wherever you may be on how to really catch silver salmon or coho from shore in Alaska. And no bullshit, this is how you do it. Hey, right, I'm gonna give you where to go, the, the fishing pole to use, the hook to use, everything. I shouldn't even be doing this because it's probably gonna overpopulate the area, but I'm, you know, I come down here all the time and do this every year. And there's a lot of people out there with, they get a lot of uh, information that just isn't true and they struggle. So first off, <clears throat> you come down to a town called Valdez, Valdez, Alaska, and you come down to Dayville Road right here, okay. Dayville Road, right? So I apologize for the broken window, <clears throat> but up here, we have a lot of broken windows up here. But anyway. <clears throat> So we come down here, this is Dayville Road. Turn on Dayville Road. I'm coming from the town of Valdez itself. All right. Turn on Dayville Road. It's also a great place to see black bear. If you want to see some black bears, it's a great place to come. Eagles, black bears, uh, sea lions, seals, otters, um, they got it. So, um, back to the fishing part. All right, silver salmon coho. You come down to Valdez, early September. This is from shore. If you're gonna go on a boat, you can come down in early August and charter a boat or have a boat and go out and go out in the bay and troll for them and catch them. But we're talking from shore, right? Uh, come down early September, probably September 1st all the way to September 15th or later. Right now it is September 10th today. Um, you know, some people claim they run later into the year. I can't say. I've never been down here later than the 12th. <clears throat> Alright, so the first thing you should use is Get yourself some good rain gear because it will be wet down here. Um, rain boots, rain jacket, uh, waders are highly recommended. Um, even if you're not going to wade out into the water, which you can do if you want, but you don't have to, I, I recommend having some waders, uh, hip waders, uh, chest waders, um, just to help keep you dry and warm. Okay. That is uh, number one down here it is wet and chilly most of the time so having some good rain gear a breathable something that's going to keep you warm and dry is important all right now hook choice what you need for your hook is a blue fox vibrex number five Okay, in silver and we call it red, but it's kind of more of a orange. Let's see if I can show you one here while I'm driving. Shouldn't be doing it, but here we go. This is it. Okay. It's a Blue Fox Vibrex number five. Okay. There's a lot of other people out there. It'll be MEPS, Flying Seas, all other kinds of stuff. Uh, this one here, the silver and red Vibrex works. It works all the time. You can get, there's many other colors. They, they all work a certain extent, but the one that works all the time is this one. And you don't need to add extra weight to your line or anything to get further out. That is a mistake. Uh, the people want to cast further, but the problem is, is they're getting too heavy of a pole and too heavy of a, <clears throat> of a line. 
and there's no action on the tip of their fishing poles because they're too stiff and they can't get them casted out far enough. Right? So what you need for a fishing pole is a medium, something in a medium action, uh, seven foot. I use a, actually use a Shakespeare ugly stick that's like nine foot. It's a medium. Um, <clears throat> and it's got a good action in the front. You don't need one that long. You just need something that's like, say, a medium, something seven foot uh, to longer. Um, get yourself a good heavy duty braided line, something 20, 30 pound test, uh, good braided line, fishing line. I know it's heavy for the poles and for the real size that you'll be using, but just do it, you'll, it works. I'll have a fishing pole here in a little bit. I will show you in just a second. But this is Dayville Road we're going down. And now, <clears throat> we're coming up on the weir right now. It's really foggy out. I can't do nothing about this. Um, right here is the uh, fish hatchery. Okay? Now, once you are past the fish hatchery on Dayville Road, and you'll come up to a little bridge right up here. Okay. See, here's the little bridge. Salmon Gulch. Okay. Right there. Okay. I'm going to just pull into this parking lot right here. Okay. <clears throat> Just to stop for a second. Now, we come down here to the end of their parking lot. And there'll be a, uh, right here. See, you see a lot of people with fishing gear right there. Okay. All right, so you come down here to this fishing pond, to this end of this parking lot. Now, the road continues on for another couple of miles all the way to a place called Allison Point. You can't see it right now because of all the fog, but from this point on, you can fish from the shore all the way to the end of this road, okay? And using this hook right here, the number five Blue Fox Vibrex, okay? In this color, okay? using that with a fishing rod, I don't know if we can get it here, because I don't think we can get it. Sorry about all the mess, but I'm just kind of winging it. Here we go. This is mine, a nine foot medium heavy, 10 to 20 pound line. You see it? And this is a Shakespeare, okay? And this is the little reel I got. It's nothing big, nothing fancy, okay? Matter of fact, it's a, I think I bought this pole a few years ago for like $50. Um, the reel, the reel that was on it, it was a package deal broke. This is just another reel I had found. Okay, nothing special. I've been using this one for two or three years, not a problem. You put a good heavy, thirty pound braided line on there. That hook, September, early September to through mid September, Dayville Road. Come down here, get on the shore and cast it out with that hook and you can catch silver salmon from shore, all right? It's as simple as that. And you are allowed six per day, 12 in per possession, okay? Not three, not 10. A lot of people say weird stuff. You're allowed six a day, 12 in possession. <clears throat> okay? Don't need anything else. If somebody has a kayak and they wanna do some kayak fishing, right here <clears throat> at the end of this there's a little ra a boat ramp kind of thing there where it's a great place to launch your kayak from okay super easy and you can go out there and it's pretty calm and you can go out and kayak fish a lot of people do it it's super fun use the same hook same bait same hook same pole same line you'll be good okay hey. Hey. <clears throat> now if anybody has any Thing they would like to ask and uh, leave a comment ask away i will reply sorry about the craziness of the video but i do shoot my videos on 
the fly as I go and I never edit. Uh, I just like being real. All right.